este se puso la mano en el pecho. Juan Caballero está entrenando en los top high, high class uh, athletes. Uh, style here, good the Pan American champion, Sri Lanka, on the right, who was his former athlete, and he expected him to want to win the, the medal of the championship in the Olympic uh, Games. This has been Juan uh, Caballero's life all his life when he was a wrestler and nowadays doing this. Let's give him additional years of uh, life which make him to feel happy. And he's highly appreciated by all the new generations. His uh, advice is the most experienced Cuban coach of wrestling at present time and even in the past. Uh, This uh, place. This is the national team of wrestling, both styles, I mean, the freestyles and, and Greek Roman style are uh, trained here. It's a volleyball facility which has been used in the third one in many years.
also a really realistic, regardless of the realistic uh, uh, defensive methods and present time. It could be considered as a martial arts like boxing too, in spite of his uh, limitations as a sport. No wonder the reason many uh, former athletes of, of wrestling ended up like uh, security guards giving a broad. Here are 
the national wrestling team, which is training here on, on this uh, volleyball uh, facility. He hasn't been training here since many years ago. One of our Juan Caballeros, our former uh, athlete, is, train, is uh, explaining related free wrestling techniques in the center, along with uh, some of the main figures of the national team of Cuba at present time in late 2019. In spite of the economic blockade or embargoes, the way it is known, uh, this sport has been practiced for many years here in spite of many local uh, obstacles, including the lack of medicine and even food at present time as well for the athletes. Uh, enough food at present time. In the 80s it was better, but uh, at present time it is said that it is not the same. So in spite of that, the national team of traveling is being uh, fighting and training here and even winning championships in, in spite of the uh, even economic obstacles of their society. That is something uh, amazing. Taking into account that the rest of the world uh, powers and the sports uh, have uh, mo most of them from the developed nation have all the conditions to train and even to win. So in this in this kind of unfair uh, condition, they have been training and winning. What would happen if they had all the related uh, economic uh, support in terms of the society, society and food related, uh, all the related needs would be covered in terms of the society uh, needs, in terms of, uh, you know, Training in our know, competition, international competition, in, in our know, friendly games or friendly bouts with other teams coming here. What would happen if that would have ever happened before? I mean, in pre at present time. That's the main question. That's the main question that remains until present day. This probably would be one of the, the most powerful realm team if they had all the related conditions, if the blockade or the embargo was finally eliminated. That kind of unfair and uh, really outdated embargo and blockade, foreign blockade, applied to all the Cuban society, against the, all the civil society, including its this sport and many other sports as well. The main figures of uh, Juan Caballero, who is sat down on the left, is the main, it was a uh, main uh, coach in the past. At the present time too, but he's coming, he retired, he's already retired to help his uh, former uh, uh, athletes like uh, the one on his uh, left, stand, stood up on his left, and the one who is uh, directing the train. In the center, this former athlete named uh, Torre Blanca. are now fighting and training for the next Olympic cycle on the next uh, Olympics Games which will be carried out uh, next year they are all training under these conditions here there is no running water to take a shower so you have to take even all the buses for transportation most of them all they have car which are given by the government even though they, they are obstacles induced obstacles for, uh, applied from abroad those kind of uh, unfair and what is regarded here as a really coward I mean, uh, policy applied against the Cuban society, which is applied even at the, like, st stabbing their backs. I mean, behind.
behind them. It's right the opposite according to their Russian general on local opinion, is regarded as a as a coward uh, attitude. Instead of talking face to face and uh, solve the problem face to face by being the way it should be. Uh, two nations, two friendly nations, tied by history and uh, by your, their really near distance, taking into account all the QN population have a relative in that nation too. Mostly of the QN population. In spite of all those uh, facts, the Cuban wrestling uh, movement is also uh, practicing their sport here and uh, attending to world wrestling championships. And that is a great achievement since many years ago. No matter the politic uh, orientation, just uh, the will about winning, that's the, was what uh, drive them all and have been dri driven all the gen related generations here in this sport and many others. Right? And others are blocked uh, coaches like uh, Juan Caballero on the left, who is now helping them all by coming here in late 2019 at the age of 75.
pasaje como ex entrenador del equipo nacional de lucha libre de en sus tiempos, ¿no? Y ex atleta y miembro de la tripulación de Cierro Pelado para las futuras generaciones que eh, comienzan el camino de sendero en la lucha libre, por ejemplo, o en la lucha eh, greco-romana del equipo nacional de Cuba y del mundo. Tienen que amar el deporte, si no, no va a gustar. Y después que usted ya se mete a estudiarlo, le va a gustar mucho. ¿Usted tuvo resultados en la lucha libre? Lo normal es que tiene una persona que, le, que ama el deporte.
te mueve un equipo de eso, de pelota de eso, a cualquier evento de eso. Son 40 personas. Hay dinero para el hotel, la comida, el transporte, el avión. Eh. Sí, y luego tú le dices, son 7 gente, 10 gente de la lucha para moverse, para ir para allá por otro. Para ir de... Ya. de todo pero internacional lo que ha provocado esa darle okay, tiene que entrenarte a nivel a nivel tiene que entrenar con equipos buenos eh, Puer, Puerto entrenaba era mucho entrenamiento y Aldo y Rubio y todo era mucho entrenamiento fuerte, torneo fuerte en el, el año era cuatro Rumanía Alemania todo el evento de esos grandes Estados Unidos todo eso era en los tiempos de el tiempo antes no que sí se puede hacer en Rosa antes de los mundiales antes del mundial cuando ellos iban a competir tenían 50, 60 topes, ¿sí? 40 y pico, 60 y pico. Entonces lo que el, la situación de que no hay el, 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 el equipo colectivo sí hay dinero, sí hay. Sí hay pues, dinero, para el equipo colectivo sí hay dinero. Para hacer tope. Pero de un tiempo para acá, ¿no? Hace unos años para acá no. O sea, aparentemente en la prensa, no, no, a nivel ya, qué sé yo. En la, entonces lo que quiero decir es que en la, en la, la lucha es lo de mi historia. Tiene que estar metido ellos en Europa, en los clubes, los clubes eso que tiene Europa. Competir en la liga de Europa. Si no se meten ahí, no es perdido. Tú puedes ser el mejor entrenamiento del mundo. Cuando el club no va a dejar, no te gaten eso. Gente que viene de nivel de preparación. Entonces la preparación esa de, de topo es lo que da ayuda al entrenador y al atleta a lograr el resultado que bueno, como, como, como los que lograste, ¿no? Porque dicen que fueron unos cuantos campeones mundiales. Otra época, otra época, otra época. Por ejemplo, antiguamente yo tenía en 48 kilos 6 gente. Todo era de nivel, todo entrenado. Había un nivel de preparación muy bueno. 52 tenía como 6 o 7. 57 como 5 o 6, 63 kilos como 6 o 7, con nivel, ahí se ve una flama. A nivel, a nivel nacional había nivel entrenando, porque todo el mundo quiere ganar. ¿Entiendes? Ya cuando venía la competencia internacional, ya tú ibas para la gira esa, metía la gira completa, después tenía un nivel de preparación cuando llegaba internacionalmente bueno pero tendrán que ir, se imagino que se pueda rectificar eso ¿no? actualmente ¿no? esa tendencia ¿no? no depende de los entrenadores depende del dinero no hay que no hay dinero para pa, 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 pa esto la lucha libre no o sea, aunque sean 10 nada no, no, no. tú mandas 3 
tres personas a competir, te dice, no, no tiene que ser para bajarte, en vez de tres lleva uno, lleva uno. Y en vez de dos entrenadores, no, no, uno solo, te atienda a la tibia y la greco, ya. No hay, no hay dinero para más, ya, te mataron.